I am here with Scott Franco from Cornell Dubulier. Scott is going to talk to us about some capacitor advances, including this aluminum polymer capacitor that provides performance equivalent to this thing. Scott, um, how do you do that? Well, it's really in the, in the packaging. So here we have a polymer capacitor in a flat pouch. So there are several layers of aluminum polymer material encased in this sealed pouch. And the seal is excellent. We get tremendous lung life out of it, and it doesn't you know, lose any capacitance over time. The properties remain very stable over time. And the ripple current of this package is tremendous. So this part handles 30 amps of ripple current, which is equivalent to the ripple current capability of this screw terminal capacitor. This screw terminal cap has the same voltage. This cap value is 320,000 microfarad. This is only 8,000 microfarad. But look at the difference in the volume, 30 amps of ripple through both of these capacitors. So this is a big breakthrough when your application needs high ripple current, but a very flat form factor. Interesting. We've got some other advances here. Can you tell us about those? Oh, certainly. About a year ago, we introduced this THA capacitor, which is a flat aluminum electrolytic with very high energy density. You can replace banks of board level capacitance. These both have the same height profile of eight millimeter. This is a board of axial leaded aluminum electrolytics with the same capacitance and voltage as this one THA capacitor. Also, you can replace banks of surface mount capacitors. Again, the equivalent capacitance and voltage. And look at how much space you save. You also reduce the number of components from a whole bunch to one, which improves the reliability of your system and you can reduce cost at the same time. Reduce weight, cost, and size. In film technology, here's an example of how we can save space. Our RA series, these yellow capacitors are stacked film capacitors. These are one microfarad, 100 volt parts. We have a whole range of values available. But look at the size of a traditional box capacitor, one microfarad, 100 volt. And the technology is really in the stacking. And we can also get higher volts per mil stress across the material because of the way it's impregnated. As another example of how we're solving some problems in packaging, here's another electrolytic capacitor which we're targeting as a replacement for banks of solid tantalum capacitors. This is an aluminum electrolytic technology. It's actually three millimeters thin. We have a two millimeter version, but a capacitor like this has 4,400 microfarads at 35 volts DC. And if you worked out the equivalent solid tantalum capacitors, it would be roughly two or three times the board space to equal this one component. So again, we're excited about being able to help engineers solve their space, weight, and even cost problems. Scott, if people want to get more information about these, where do they go? Well, one of the best places is our website. You can go to cde.com and you can find information through navigation. But if you go to cde.com slash flat pack, you'll get all of the new technologies, especially in our platform factors. Well, Scott, that's amazing packaging, I must say. So thank you for that. Well, thank you very much.